Hey, it's Dana Burgar here, and we're uh, we're cooking with Dana on the counter. So we're gonna get started today. We're gonna make homemade ravioli with uh, marinara sauce, meat sauce, and uh, filled with ground meat, spinach, and Parmesan cheese. So let's get cooking. Damn, oh. All right, so we're back at Dano's house right. here. Yep. All right, so the the key to Dano on the counter is Dano's gonna be on the counter, right? So <laughs> here we go. I'm just gonna climb oh, up there. here. This it's makes official. it this makes it easier for me to uh, to cook because I can have the uh, the upper advantage here just to get a uh, better feel of what's going on. Flip yeah, that would be kind of tough from down there. Yeah. So we're gonna start making our ravioli dough. Oh, so you're starting from scratch. Oh yeah. You? It's important to wear a black shirt when you're cooking with flour. How about? <laughs> because that way people know that you're cooking today. <laughs> you know? So the ingredients for your dough is gonna be uh, three cups of flour. All-purpose flour, unbleached. Then you're gonna make six large eggs and two tablespoons of olive oil. I think I've got the idea now. A lot of people use those those molds to make their raviolis. I, I don't. I like to do them all by hand. So some of them might be a little bit bigger. Some of them might be a little bit smaller. So this will probably make oh at least at least 20 or so. So I'm just gonna mix this together right here with our KitchenAid and then roll it out real thin. So cooking's your jam, huh? Yeah, it's fun. It's something to do on the uh, in my spare time here, uh, in between treatments and in between work. And so we got our dough here and we're just gonna knead it a little bit. Put a damp cloth over it uh -huh. and let it sit for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna roll it out and cut it to make our raviolis. So the dough is pretty much done. Now we're gonna make the filling for inside the ravioli. Your stuffing is just basic ground meat, 90, 90, 10. Try to get as lean as you can, drain the fat, cook it up, brown it up. All right, so the ground meat's done. We're gonna drain this off and then uh, we're gonna let it cool and then mix it with our cheese and spinach and, and get our filling together. So. Okay, Dano is off the counter. Off the counter. On to the next thing. One of these days I'll have a house with the lower sink. <laughs> oh, you don't need it. You're doing just fine. Yo, yeah, you're doing a good workout climbing up. Yeah. Up and down, huh? Up and down. Up and <laughs> on and off the counter. <laughs> so our ground meat is cooled. We're just going to mix this together. It's going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Not a whole lot. Then just add uh, chopped spinach that's been drained and fluffed just up like a the, little bit. Just a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor. That's all we're So this is good here. to go. Now we're just going to finish our dough, rolling it out, and then we're going to stuff them. So we're gonna try to get this pretty thin. I'm trying not to cut through the counter because my parents will kill me. Dan, if you gave me a glass over there, I'm just gonna use a cookie cutter. I'm just gonna use just a regular glass and put a little flour on it. All right. So it doesn't stick to the dough. That's what I'm gonna cut them out. Cut out some circles here. But this is just how we've we've done it ever since I was a little kid. Dana, who taught you how to do this? Uh, it's from my mom and my grandfather, my dad's dad, or my mom's dad. Okay. Um, they used to make these, and ever since we were little kids, they taught us how to make them. So we were always involved in the process. Awesome. So. So, so old family tradition good. here. Once you rolled out your dough and they're cut, you start stuffing your uh, ravioli, then crimp all the edges, crimp the edges and then seal them with a, a fork and just crimp them. And that is a meat spinach cheese ravioli. There it is, folks. <laughs> and then you're ready to boil them. And then you can boil them that day or you can put them in the freezer and keep them for uh, a couple weeks if you want. All right, so the moment of truth, Dan's gonna get some, yep, oh, you need your chair back. Yeah, the edge will make that jump. We got our Del Grosso sauce made locally right down the road. Shout out Del Grosso! Shout out Del Grosso's. I think everybody in Altoona grew up on it. Just gonna throw a little sauce on here. We'll cut one of these bad boys open. Moment of right. truth! Inside, there we go. That's what pop in my mouth. And that's it! <laughs> Voila! Oh man, that's the only. Fucking my Dan on the counter. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Yes. And if you want to, give me your kidney. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> we'll list the information on the bottom. <laughs> we'll see you. <ya. laughs>